And there are reports the Department of Defence has lost our UFO <laughs> files. Officials documented an unknown number of sightings in Australia during the decades leading up to November 2000. But now, after two months of extensive searching, the department has admitted a large portion of the files have been destroyed. So uh, is this a real-life case of the X-Files, a government cover-up, or just plain carelessness? Joining us here on the couch is UFO researcher and witness Bill Chalker, Australian Skeptics member Peter Bowditch, and in Melbourne, Dr Martin Plowman, historian and author of the UFO Diaries. Good morning to you all. Bill, we're going to start with you. Uh, tell us about the files that have been destroyed. Well, d destroyed or lost? What's the... Well, there are two, two stories going on basically here. Um... One of the local papers, the Herald, uh, put an FOI inquiry in to try and uh, locate what the RWF or Department of Defence had. Uh, they got back a fairly curious response from the FOI coordinator there, indicating that they couldn't find the files other than a few limited files. And uh, that, to me, astonished me because I knew for a fact that the majority of the files are just down the road from the Department of Defence in Canberra at the National Archives, and one can get access to most of these files courtesy of uh, looking at digitised copies of them, uh, courtesy of your a desktop computer but to me the bigger story is that in fact uh, they have destroyed some files uh, probably about eight to ten years worth of sighting files but mm. uh, some of the, most of those files I've seen myself particularly when I examine them at the Department okay. of Defence between 82 and 84. Right. Peter what is this is it a conspiracy theory is it a beat up what is it? I think it's a beat up actually um, it's, it's unfortunate these things have been destroyed. I think that government records should be kept forever, if possible. But um, I just... You know, the whole UFO thing seems to be driven essentially by a lot of conspiracy theory. That, and this just adds to it. Um, but understandably the, so. Yeah, yeah. One of the fundamentals of conspiracy theory is that no matter how much you're told, there's always stuff you're not told. In this yeah. case, they've actually said, not only is there stuff we're not telling you, but there's stuff we've destroyed. That must be so secret we couldn't have told you. Now, I used to work for the Department of Supply. I have to admit these are people just destroyed it. Um, I can't say any more than that because of you know, things I had to sign when I went to work there. So, well, now we know I'm, you're withholding. Oh, I'm, oh, it's right. I'm, <laughs> I'm part of the problem. Yeah, you are part of the problem. <laughs> Thank you, Detective Ender, for <laughs> yeah. withholding. However, I, 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 it would not surprise me at all they're not the most efficient people. But, as, uh, as Bill said... A lot of this stuff that the Herald said they couldn't find is available in the archives, the National Archives. Yeah. OK, Martin, what's your take on this? Well, I didn't sign anything, so I can probably speak <laughs> fairly <laughs> freely about this. Yeah. yeah. Look, I mean, this sort of stuff actually has happened quite a few times in the history of ufology. Um, one of the, the biggest uh, official UFO, UFO investigations was Project Blue Book, which is what the United States Air Force did up until about 1969. And apparently, yeah, they're... they're their files are also in a complete disarray. These sort of programs are often really underfunded and understaffed, so I'm, I'm kind of not surprised, but I'm a little bit worried that so much could have been lost um, and they can't find it. That's crazy. Mm. All righty. Well, uh, we'll wait and see what happens with this one. Uh, thank you so much, Martin, and also to Peter and Bill. Thank you both. Thank you. No problems.